and welcome to Geekit Play Studio tutorials. We continue creating plants in a new the plant factory, and I'm using the producer version. Um, most of these functions will work with the uh, studio and other editions, so we'll just um, follow up and we'll use a little bit more advanced options to create it, this plant. What I want to do is creating um, sage, kind of wild sage bush, and it's uh, plenty of them where I live. I live in Utah in kind of high altitude desert mountains, and we have plenty of this kind of uh, bushes all over places, so it's easy for me to go outside and just see how they build. And I like them, so when for the desert type scenery, I want to build one. And that will be our examples, and also it's help us to create some very nice displacement on the material, on kind of trunk, so we can have a lot of cool details. So we'll begin by working first on the trunk, and um, I want to actually reduce length. We'll start with a length of two, and we can set 0 0.5. At the same time, I like to add and a random variation. So, so it, when we start working, exporting in a view, they don't look all exactly the same. Okay, next, just readjusting and zooming a little bit closer. Okay, let's work on a radius, and I want to switch from inherit to the user defined. So from one will go for 2.0 and let's add a variation maybe 0 0.02 just very small variations okay next notice I, it's our trunk kind of straight let's change radius and we'll just take radius and bring make a little bit more corners kind of type looking maybe right here I think this one will look good. Um, I also want to work with displacement and preview. I want to increase resolution for now, just twice, kind of clicking, create this a little bit higher resolution for our mesh. Okay, um, next let's go ahead and uh, work a little bit on our roots for this. So I'm going to enable root flare. And uh, numbers, let's add randomness to the our number as well will pop up random and variation so you can see kind of look cool all this different stuff um height just let's bring even down and reasons why i'm bringing down because it's not so tall so i want to give it a little bit on the bottom but not too high and of this we'll just reduce a little bit on the base take depth down and as well width just a little bit constrained you can see it's look a nice root for the plant again um, most of what I do I go online search for specific plant species and just use as reference photos when I'm working um, because I already done this several times creating this plant so kind of going from my memory how it's created but again if you want to go on the line and check references for whatever plant you use it so it's make a little bit easy to create the next, what I want to do, it is um, add some effect to this. First, let's go to mechanism. We add 25 at 5 right here. So it will create a little bit um, after we work kind of bending. We'll go to influence. Let's set our frequency 0 0.5 and a string maybe to about 0 0.5. Five one. So let's try this. Yeah, that look nice. You can see how already bending happened. To add additional extra all those details, we actually need to go inside the materials. And right here, let me increase this up. Inside the materials, you notice we have um, options to call segment body displacement. So I'm going to enable this options and I want control it because I don't want to use image 
I just want control this with um, some fractal. So we'll go to source, you know, just highlight it, we we'll click and click connect to parameters. So currently we have it our meta node. I don't want to use the meta node for this. Instead, I want to go to fractal and we'll just use it grainy fractal, grinder, and just reconnect to alt altitude. So let's go keep that one. You can see already we have a very beautiful effect going here. Okay, and before we modify this, I want to actually go back to our segment and I want to also connect a mount to here. So we're going, we'll go again, connect parameter. We'll take this from random. Oops, actually, let me really highlight this node and connect to altitude. Okay, we'll donate this random. And you notice we have quite a strong effect. So let's go right now inside the settings for the um, Grand Fractal and modify a couple things. The one I want stretch because if you look on the CG, it's have a very long kind of stretching, like almost going. So for this, we'll now go modify in a Z index, stretching them a little bit more in Z. Okay, we want to pop up a little bit smaller features, so we have it. Now maybe around one, kind of reduce all those teeny tiny and create very beautiful this type effect already going on. Um, roughness and gain you can modify a little bit if you want, if you, but I recommend those ones careful because you can see how much it's instantly affecting. So just one, maybe just a little bit going above for this effect. Let me actually take one step down now. For the preview right now, I want to increase, so I want to see how it's will going, and we'll decrease afterwards. Okay, um, next so we'll done this. We can increase also a little bit other like distortion, dumping, okay, as well as a little bit of flat stiffness. So we can rework and add additional. Mostly this is. Um, grain of fractal it's work exactly the same as inside the view so if you feel familiar to work with um, inside the view you can kind of feel very familiar as well inside the plant editor okay and I think we are um, done with this step so we can go and add some branches and let me actually modify because I notice how this little bit too thick so let me bring this a little bit down and maybe just a little bit more okay as well you see how flat let's take on a cup and bring this end down this will add this nice smoother end so it doesn't look like it's cut off so this is a very nice plant um, at this point we can work also on materials to add and um, probably I will do this on the end afterwards but we'll leave it like this now okay um, next let's start add additional branches to this so I'm going to reduce a little bit the resolution because I know how it's look at this point but I want speed up a little bit pre-render so we can go take it down adjust our menu and next we'll add additional segments so this is will be our branches going out let's connect them okay they like all over places so we'll go to our segment let's work on setting up um, I want probably add a little bit more with the random variation as well okay, we'll pop up a little bit more to the top so they're kind of going from the top if you look yeah, around right here so we have a nice beautiful route we can use after okay um, here's kind of trick I want them going down and up kind of interesting angle so for this actually I need to go to minus 30 so we'll go up as it and let's add a variation of 5 
see if they're going kind of down from here it's where i was going and i'll as well let's set curl 147 for now and maybe three on the random so this is kind of done except maybe just add a little bit shrink right there where they're connecting okay and we can pop up bending what it will effect a little bit more on the top the connect so this is add a little bit more effect okay i think this is the, with segment is done right now so we'll go to next and let's do this way let's go and name this to the trunk okay as well i'm just change colors okay there will be a um, branch for this one and we can also set just different colors we kind of okay now inside the branch um, we can go ahead and work a little bit on a segment so first size let's drop down to two and add variation one okay right here the inheritance actually i want to pop up to 100 percent what it does it take inherit radius over previous and we set as default 50 percent so it's half of the radius nice connection but i want to actually 200 percent so it will be very thick on the beginning but at the same time this end will go and will bring down so you can see the kind of look nicer and same way on a cup so let's bring rounding little bit ends okay next right here top prism so right now you can see it's going down what i want i want them going a little bit up like this kind of create interesting effect on the branches um we'll go with the opposite so i was minus 20 see how they start going up kind of give it very nice effect this and i want a little bit flattened on top so they don't go so straight in this case we'll just go side add some points okay right here you can see how this affecting so let's go up as example you see how they start bending and we'll take and reduce effect of top prism on top not too much just a little bit so it's going kind of see angle down up in this way kind of interesting twist add to that okay we can also add randomness maybe of five so it's effect on this okay um next what i want right here see how the connecting doesn't look very well for this one we need to actually enable blending with the parent and right now you can see how this jump very interesting going inside um three probably it's about right we can reduce a little bit on the link but overall it's have a very nice effect right here how the blending together give you a little bit thickness let me just slightly reduce and then maybe get it to 90 let's did you see yeah this look nice connection okay till we're in a branch now um couple things we can go inside the influence and pop up to maybe 0 0.1 just give it slightly distortion and as well what i want to do now it's take this displacement that we have before and connect to a fractal so we have these lines going all over okay let's pop up a little bit resolution so we can preview and right here I'm, again i'm going to um, enable the displacement we'll go on the source connect parameters okay let me bring out we take this and connect altitude okay we don't need that one we can erase we'll go to the branch again connect um, amount as well this one altitude as well we can erase so see how we have a nice beautiful lines now going right here as well this is add this effect and if 
you have chance to look on those plants on the wild um, sage bush you notice how the trunks it's kind of very fragmental so this is look very close to what naturally they will look like because some branches too big but it's another case it's what happened when we add random and kind of semi fractalization for this okay here is our branch next let's add a little bit more other small branches to this okay let me check one more okay we influence okay segment we set it this look nice so next yeah let's add more branches small branches that go around and to do this we'll go again let's reduce this one we'll go add new geometry new segment let's call sub branch I'm going to switch this maybe lighter something different it will connect to our segment here okay and let's um, okay inside the branch oh they look wild okay reduce our resolution and we'll go to our some branch right here and let's modify the one I want actually more of them so we'll add eight and let's add also variations okay start and probably leave it the same at this point however right here I want them be a little bit more angular so we'll just pop up maybe 48 or 50 around this will be good and let's them bring a little bit up uh, we can do this by adding maybe like minus 20 so there you can see we, we bring them kind of up right here on the angle so we can preview they're going kind of going a little bit up with the angle so it's our rule did for that okay and next we can go ahead and inside sub branch so let's work on um, settings inside here and we're going to set link to 1.5 and let's set run uh, variation 0 0.5 okay also I kind of want this maybe even smaller diameter so we have a bigger branch and kind of small yeah that will look better except right here on the end maybe it will really work we'll see how it will come up Okay, we'll just go as well and till we here let's make these branches better as well as take a cup and make it smoother right on the angles and I presume what I want to do I want to bring them all the way up so they're kind of growing if you look on them and we'll go with negative 35 for this so look how they pop up that is look very nice The next let's add a little bit blending right here with the parents so we'll go enable and we'll just leave it as default so you can see how very nice the blending together so so far this is our plant looking like quite a bit weird interesting and of course we'll go ahead and add some leaves and it's come up very nicely done okay we'll do this in the next part of this tutorial